We have been selling spare parts for vintage Hondas for some 30 years now. We have our press launch day, which is going to be a very exciting day. We have James May that's going to come and open it for us officially. We're going to have Freddie Spencer, three times world championship for Honda. He'll be here as well as a guest. And uh, we're going to have around 30 to 40 journalists coming who are, they themselves are going to get to ride some of the vintage bikes right back to the early 50s. We're going to provide them with some food and some commentary and um, you know, many other things happening here tomorrow. It's excellent. It's a very good, uh, concise, easily understood history of Honda motorcycles, which is a great, it's a great story. It's one of the better stories in motorcycling history. So I, yeah, I've enjoyed it. There are a few things in here that used to be mine, like that SS50 was mine. And David said, um, I need one of those for my museum. And he got me in a slightly weak moment. So I swapped it for something, an exhaust pipe copper washer or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's um, a PS50 over there that was mine. There's a CB250 upstairs that was mine. And you always regret selling things, don't you? No one ever regrets keeping stuff. So, so it's tinged with sadness. <laughs> What's so special about this project is it gives opportunity for people that maybe have never seen Hondas like these. There's some in here that I hadn't seen before. And uh, so it's, it's really great that when you share it with the, with the public and they can see the incredible history of Honda. I got invited to Mr. Honda's home and to have lunch with him. And of all the stories that he was going to tell me or could tell me, the one he told me about was starting in his garage. And his goal was, when he started the company, this little engine company, was to take engines and put them on bicycle frames. And so you have all these years later, I come here to this incredible museum, and one of the bikes that David had, this little bike, was the little bicycle with the Honda engine on it. And so, again, one of those memories. And it's through motorcycling that over these 50 years that have given me so many opportunities to meet great people but have even greater experiences. And so I'm really appreciative of that. We're glad today to have brought along with us today the RC173, which Mike Aylwood won the World Championship, the 350 World Championship in 1966. We also have the six-cylinder George Beale replica, the RC174, which we've also brought along here to the, the event today. And finally, we've got the bike that Joey Dunlop won his last Superbike TT in the Isle of Man, which is the SP1. talk about going down memory lane it's incredible when you can sort of think and remember all the times that um, uh, you know I was involved with the, the bikes and a lot of the bikes in here um, were probably old enough to say that I was part of the development of so looking back at that it's been great to, uh, to just go down memory lane and, and just look and think oh yeah I remember that and Dave's done a fantastic job of getting them all in one place so you can see you know, uh, all the eras, uh, all the great eras of Honda and uh, it's really, really good, really fantastic place. Okay, I declare <laughs> the David Silver Honda collection officially open. Yay! Excellent, thank you. Thank you.